I don't know about you guys, but every time I get a new camera or a new lens, as a YouTuber and a content creator, as well as a cinematographer, one of the first things I ever do is just sit down in my office and set up a talking head like this. But this one's a little bit different because right now you're looking at me through about $40,000 worth of glass on a $100,000 sensor. This is a 25 millimeter RE Signature Prime and the RE Mini LF, the camera that shot 1917, the sensor that shot the Batman. And right now it's just filming me for a YouTube video. What are you fucking nuts? The reason I even have this camera is we've rented it this week for a documentary that I'm DPing for the NBA. I'll probably have some more stuff to share about that in the new year because we're working on it right now. But I have this camera for the week and I also make YouTube videos. So I'm in a weird position where I have this thing for a gig, but I thought I'd do something fun for YouTube for you guys while I have it. So here we are. I'll be honest, setups like this often intimidate me. I become a creature of habit and I like the comfort of the gear that I own and the stuff that I'm used to. I know the menu systems, I know the quirks, I know the bad things and the good things. So anytime I pick up a new camera or a system I've never used before, I'm just a little bit hesitant. I feel a little bit anxious every time I use a camera that's not mine. I will say I've had this thing for a few hours now and it is hands down one of the easiest cameras I've ever used. If you've touched even an iPhone or a basic mirrorless camera, Ari has figured everything out with this thing. It is so damn easy to set up. It's literally just what you see is what you get. It's one of the simplest cameras I've ever used, even more simple than like a black magic. As soon as you turn this thing on, it becomes instantly apparent why every working DP and cinematographer and filmmaker loves using Ari cameras. It's not quirky, it's not weird. It just turns on, press record, and you're pretty much ready to go. I'm shooting this right now in the 4.5K open gate. This is the full large format sensor coming out of this thing. And look, I think it looks good. Of course it looks good. It better look good. It's a $40,000 lens on a $100,000 sensor. But what I will say is from the little bit of footage and stuff that I've been playing with so far, the camera itself is great. Do not get me wrong. And I know that if you were to stress test this thing and be in bright sunlight and need to bring your highlights down or you need shadow details, this thing will blow any of my mirrorless cameras out of the water. But what really separates this look apart from what I usually shoot with, it's the glass. And honestly, it is always the glass. And before I talk a little bit more about that glass, I'm gonna throw it to today's sponsor, which is Storyblocks. Storyblocks has over a million 4K and HD footage clips, templates, music, sound effects, images, and more. Their curated professional content is the perfect way to make your videos stand out. The issue I've always had with stock sites is that they typically make you pay per clip or asset, but Storyblocks offers the freedom of an unlimited library for one set price. That means you can grab clips, graphics, music, anything you might need without worrying about about racking up charges. I've been shooting a little mini doc series recently on some local joints in Toronto, and I needed some extra B-roll of the city that I totally forgot to get. So I used Storyblocks to quickly grab a shot of a streetcar just to give it a bit of extra production value. Honestly, it's kind of like having an extra crew member with me on my gigs especially when I'm flying solo. Plus, DaVinci Resolve templates are now available in your Storyblocks library, so you can create better videos faster with customizable DaVinci Resolve templates. From motion graphics to animated sequences, Storyblocks' DaVinci Resolve templates are essential to creating professional-looking videos at scale. So head over to storyblocks.com slash Patrick Tommaso to get started with unlimited stock media downloads at one set price. Thank you again to Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to it. I rented three lenses for this shoot. We're doing these talking head interviews first. So honestly, this is a bit of a camera test for myself to see how it even looks. I got the 18 mil, the 25 mil, and a 95 mil, because I just wanted to see which frame I would like the best. And I didn't want to handcuff myself on set to only one lens. So I got all three just so I can experiment when I get there on the day. But the reason I even chose the LF for this project is because I'm filming faces. I'm doing interviews. There is something special about the way large format and these lenses with faces. And especially in open gate, the way I can see my chest and my face and still blow that background out, I think it looks fantastic. But that's not to say you couldn't do this with a lot of cameras that you already have. And that's the other thing I wanna talk about in this video. This is amazing and it's worth every penny that it costs, but it's only a notch better than anything that I own. And I purposely lit this how I would normally light a talking head, but all I will say is this glass is truly the game changer when it comes to stepping up your productions into the next level. Honestly, I think next time I might not even rent the Mini LF and I would just rent the Signature Primes because I know when I put these on any camera, they're gonna look damn good. I will say, as someone who's been doing this for a while now and played with so many different cameras, I've never been disappointed by the cameras that I own now. This just looks a little bit better. Does it look $100,000 better than like my a7 IV or FX30? Absolutely not. If you're sitting there and you're a YouTuber, you're an aspiring cinematographer and you think you're gonna get this camera and it's gonna make everything look so much better, it's gonna turn you into a filmmaker. No chance. I picked this thing up and started filming stuff around my kitchen. I was like, oh yeah, it's me. 
I'm the jackass, I'm the idiot. This thing's not gonna turn me into Roger Deakins. I have to do this. I have to get better. I have to know how to light. It has nothing to do with the actual tool. It is the person using the tool. And you're probably a tool like me that is still figuring all this stuff out as we go. So yes, I am totally in love with this camera and these lenses, but having it now in my hands, in my office, has sort of like scratched the itch of like, wait a second, I don't really need this thing. I'm so happy with what I'm able to accomplish and create with the things that I already have. And I know I still even haven't really scratched the surface of what I'm capable of in the future with the gear that I already have. And look, if I need this thing, I'll rent it. And hopefully the budgets will be around for me to rent it. But it is not this end all be all. We are so lucky that all the cameras that we have now at our disposal, everything from like $1,000 to $100,000 looks incredible. So I want this to be encouraging to you to use whatever you have so that when you get your hands on something like this, you're putting the polish on something that already looks fantastic. And that's really why I got this. I know how to shoot interviews. I know how to shoot talking head videos but I want it to look just a little bit better. I hope I get to share a little bit behind the scenes of what I actually end up shooting with this camera more. I'm gonna see if I can do a couple more little tests before I have to give it back just for you guys. So if you have any questions, if you wanna know anything about this camera or want me to try something, please let me know in the comments. Thank you again to Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. Now I'm gonna get up nice and close and see if I can get this to focus. But I think that's it for me. My name's Patrick and you will see or hear me next time I feel like making a video. Cheers.